you want to stuff your face with these Easter cookies, watch the video. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. Back to Uncle Simon's Self-Isolation Inspirational Baking Masterclass. As you know, we're making Easter cookies, but what makes them Easter cookies? Well, I tried to go to the shops and get chocolate chips, but because of isolation, I had to go for something else instead. Mini eggs, chocolate mini eggs, not baby chickens mini eggs. Now onto the ingredients. To start with, we've got the butter. How much? 115 grams. In these bowls, we've got the sugars. We've got 90 grams of light brown sugar and 90 grams of granulated. If you ain't got granulated, use caster, no one cares. In this bowl, we have got 220 grams of plain flour. In this thing, we've got a pinch of salt. In this, we've got half a teaspoon of baking powder. And as an optional extra, if you've got it, we have got one tablespoon of corn flour. In America, they call it cornstarch. But we're not in America, and we're sensible, aren't we? That's an optional extra. If you've got it, chuck it in if you ain't. And in the big boy, we have got a little bit of vanilla extract. We have got our mini eggs, chocolate mini eggs. I've got more over there, but this is about 220 grams. And last but not least, we have got one egg, or uno huevos. Arriba, let's go. Now on to the most boring job. Get your baking tins lined with some non-stick paper. If anyone's been annoying you in your house during isolation, get them to do it. Put it this way, I never lined these tins and it wasn't the dog either. Let's crack on. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. She's so angry at me. What have I done? What have I done? Right, I've given her a couple of mini eggs and she's calmed right down. So let's crack on with the recipe. Get the big boy and the butter. And throw up high, straight in. Next, get your sugars, whop. Your other sugar, whop. Now you've got to cream them together until they're all creamed together. And you know how I like to do it. Get your hands in. Now the butter and the sugars are all creamed together, are just like that. It's time to go in with a little bit of vanilla extract. How much? Just a splish. Splish. Perfect. Next, your uno huevos or one egg. Give it a tap on the table. Straight in. Oops. <laughs> Make sure you have no eggshell in there. I've removed mine. Next, get your egg and your sugary buttery solution and just mix it together to create slop. Make sure it's all incorporated. Beautiful. Now that's all incorporated, pop it aside a sec. Next, get your fluid and all your other ingredients that's left. So get your corn flour, straight in. Your uh, baking powder, straight in. And your salt, straight in. Get your little whisking fingers on. Just give that a little stir together. Bring this thing back. Grab your sieve. And pop all of this into your sieve. And sieve it all together. Now, the reason why we add the corn flour is because it creates a nice crunchy exterior, but a nice soft interior. Woof. Now the flour is in with the eggy sugary mixture. Let's give that a little stir together and it should be quite thick by the time you've finished. This is the consistency you're looking for. It's quite thick and it will hold onto a spoon. And now onto the best bit, the chocolate. Now I'm going to smash some of these up to go in there to add different textures, leave some whole to add a nice bite. The way you smash them up in your packets, get your rolling pin. Just 
do that. Until they're all smashed up. Now I've smashed the living bejeebas out of these, it's time to add them to the bowl. Now the recipe calls for 220 grams of chocolate. I've got three packets. Now these packets are 80 grams each, which is why I've gone for three. Now it's vitally important that you don't eat any. Professionals don't just pick at stuff while they're cooking. It's really unprofessional. It's so like bad for the recipe. You're all like, where's all your measurements from? You're, you're just eating them now. What? Don't eat, you're just, you just said don't eat them and now you're eating them. I'm not. You've just done it. Right, the smashed ones are in. Now it's time to go in with the whole ones. Give them a jolly good old mix together making sure that all the eggs are incorporated into the cookie dough. Right, now that's all incorporated, it's time to grab the tins. We're gonna discard one tin for a minute because we're gonna have to put these in the fridge just to chill so it's easier to get them all onto one sheet to get in your fridge. Grab a spoon, a tablespoon, and just take a spoonful like that and pop it in your hand and just gently roll it into a ball. Just like that. Just pop it on your sheet. Keep doing that until your baking sheet is full of. I managed to get 12 cookies out of that. If you want to make more, just use a teaspoon, make them smaller. Now these need to go in the fridge for about an hour to harden up. The reason why you put them in there, it hardens them up so they keep their shape, so when you cook them, they don't just go and it keeps them all perfect explanation. An hour has passed, and now they're ready to be cooked off. They've chilled off nicely, and they're more firm to touch. Uh, at this point, what you can do is you can bundle these up, put them in a freezer bag, pop them in the freezer, and then you can freeze them for quite a while when you want a cookie to cook, pull it out, give it 20 minutes to thaw off, put it on a tray, bosh, straight in the oven. Now we're gonna get these on two trays because as they cook, they go down and spread out a little bit. And you don't want them joining together because it'll be ugh. Let's get these bad boys in the oven. Count with the me. oven's on. Gas mark three or 180 degrees. Now let's pop these bad boys in. They're going to need between 15 and 18 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. Right, the timer has just gone off. They've been in there about 20 minutes, just a little bit longer. But let's get them out and have a look, shall we? Get the boxing gloves on. Ush, ush. Let's have a look. There we go. Have a look at them beauties. And there we have it. Perfect cookies. Now it's time for the taste test. Look at that. Crunch on the outside, perfectly soft on the inside. Mmm. Well, they are proper good. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my videos. If you want to see me bake something, leave a comment down below. And while you're at click my face right here so you can subscribe. And also, click right here to see all my other videos. Muchas gracias. Adios. Peace out.